Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shankar De and this is 4th class of ECG. In this class of ECG, we are going to discuss heart rate calculation. So, in this class of ECG, we will discuss how to calculate heart rate from ECG. In the previous 3 class of ECG, I have discussed ECG basics, ECG leads and ECG axis. In this class, we am, I am going to discuss heart rate calculation from ECG. Those who have not watched my previous 3 videos on ECG, please watch my previous 3 videos on ECG then come to this video. So, starting with today's topic, heart rate calculation. So, what is the formula for calculating heart rate from ECG? The formula is heart rate equal to 1500 by N here n denotes number of small square in between two r waves so here n denotes number of small square in ecg in between two r waves or rr interval so the formula is heart rate equal to number of small 1500 by number of small square in between two successive r waves otherwise all, you can also use the alternative formula that is 300 by n dash here n dash equal to number of large square so in this case the n dash equal to number of large square in between two r waves or rr interval so either you can calculate the heart rate using the number of small square in between two arrows or number of small square in between uh, last square in between two arrows so whenever you are considering the small square the formula is heart rate equal to 1500 by n and whenever you are considering number number of large square in between two r then the formula is 300 by n dash so this is the formula now what is the normal heart rate as you all know normal heart rate is ranges from 60 to 100 so normal heart rate is between 60 to 100 beats per minute so heart rate normal is 60 to 100 beats per minute and whenever the heart rate is more than 100 beats per minute when the heart beats faster more than 100 beats per minute then it is called tachycardia so when the heart beats faster more than 100 beats per minute it is called tachycardia and when the heart beats slower then it is called bradycardia in this case of bradycardia the heart rate is less than 60 beats per minute so i think it is very clear to you the normal heart rate is in between 60 to 100 beats per minute whenever the heart rate is less more than 100 beats per minute it is called tachycardia and whenever the heart rate is less than 60 beats per minute it is called bradycardia now we are going to calculate heart rate from ecg in this ecg so what is the formula of heart rate calculation as i have told you earlier either 1500 by n here n is number of small square in between two r wave this is the rhythm step lead to here you can see one R wave, here you can see another R wave. So these are R wave. So now we are going to calculate the number of small square in between two R wave. As you can see, there is 15 small square in between two R wave or in other words, there is three large square. So as you can see, this is one large square. This is another large square. This is another. So three large square is in between two R wave or 15 small square so the formula will be heart rate equal to 1500 by number small square means 15 or otherwise 300 by n dash means 300 by number of large square in between two means three so for both the using both the formula we are getting the heart rate as 100 beats per minute so the heart is beating at the rate of 100 beats per minute in this case if you see carefully the distance between two r wave is always same the distance between two r wave is always same and the distance between two p wave from this distance to this distance from this p to this p this p to this p is same and the configuration of p wave qrx complex and t is within normal limit so this is actually 
sinus rhythm of heart so the heart rate is within normal limit and the all the configuration and the distance between r and p interval are same so this is sinus rhythm see this ecg here in this case the distance is much smaller than the previous ecg that means heart is beating faster now calculate the heart rate so the heart rate is 1500 by n or 300 by n dash so number of small square in between two r wave we have to calculate suppose this is one r wave this is another r wave as you can see there is two large square in between so there is two large square in between or in other words we can say there is 10 small square in between two r wave so the heart rate is 1500 by 10 number of small square or 300 by 2 that means the heart is beating at the rate of 150 beats per minute as i have told you previously whenever the heart beats at more than 100 beats per minute that is called tachycardia that is called tachycardia in this case of ecg also the distance between two r waves is same in successive r waves also the distance between this p wave is also same the p wave is p and r waves is coming at regular interval with normal configuration with much more faster rate so this is actually sinus tachycardia see the next ecg in this case the distance between two r wave is prolonged so the distance is very high in between two r wave so the distance is very high in between two r wave so this is actually ecg of bradycardia so to diagnose the calculate the heart rate the heart rate is 1500 by number of small square or 300 by number of large square in this case large square is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 large square or 35 small square so the heart rate is coming almost 42 beats per minute as i have told you previously whenever the heart rate is less than 42 beats per minute that is called bradycardia that is called bradycardia so in this case as you can see this is bradycardia the rr interval is coming very late so this is bradycardia and the distance between two r wave is same also the distance between this p wave is also same so the p and r wave are coming at regular interval so this is actually sinus bradycardia there is no sign of arrhythmia this is sinus bradycardia so as i have told you in the previous three cgs the p and r waves are coming at regular interval but in some cases you can also find out there will be no similarity in between pp interval and rr interval that means you will get p and r at irregular interval the distance will be not same for in between two p waves and in between two r waves that is called av dissociation in case of third degree heart block in case of third degree heart block you will heart block you will get this type of ecg so this is actually normal i have discussed previously this is normal sinus rhythm this is normal but in case of third degree heart block you will find out there is no similarity in between two p in p inter pp interval and rr interval in that case you have to calculate the atrial rate and the ventricular rate separately so you have to calculate first atrial rate and ventricular rate using the pp interval we will calculate the atrial rate suppose if you calculate the uh, Uh, rate using this formula 1500 by number of small square in number of small square in between two pp interval then you will get atrial rate and if you calculate number of small square in between two rr interval using this formula you will get ventricular rate so in case of this similarity between pp interval and rr interval you have to calculate atrial rate and ventricular rate separately so this is all about today's class calculation of heart rate 
so as you all know this is the formula this is the normal heart rate this is tachycardia this is bradycardia whenever the rr the distance between rr interval is between 15 to 25 then you will definitely get this normal range heart rate whenever the distance between two rr interval is this distance between two rr interval is less that means whenever this rr interval is distance is less than 15 small square so whenever this rr interval distance is less than 15 small square you will definitely get more than 100 beats per minute heart rate means tachycardia so whenever the distance is less than 15 small square you will get tachycardia and whenever the distance is prolonged this rr interval is more than 15 small square so more than 15 small square then you will definitely get heart rate less than 60 beats per minute or bradycardia so just by seeing the ecg you can tell either it is sinus either it is normal rate or bradycardia tachycardia so this is all about today's class for more such class on ecg don't forget to subscribe my channel dr shankar de so share these videos with your friends seniors and juniors do subscribe the channel and tap on the bell icon for next class on ecg we are in the next class of ecg we are going to discuss how to how to interpret left ventricular hypertrophy and right ventricular hypertrophy of in from ecg so use uh, using just ecg paper how to interpret whether there is right ventricular hypertrophy or left hand ventricular hypertrophy we are going to discuss in our next session of ecg so please do subscribe the channel and don't forget to share the video with your friends thank you for watching